the Democratic State Committee about our just launching Arena De Rosa campaign for Lieutenant Governor. I know that I missed a few events last year, but as the lead Obama administration official for all food and nutrition issues in the Northeast United States, I was at food banks, and schools, health clinics, and small farms, making sure that one in four Americans had enough food to eat during the greatest recession of our lifetime. I am from Massachusetts, lifelong Red Sox fan, grew up in a working middle class, second generation immigrant family, my sisters and I were the first in our family to attend college. I worked my way through high school, worked my way through Harvard. And I grew up in a home where we were taught to make a difference in the lives of others. And all I ever wanted to do was to be a voice for the people who didn't have lobbyists on Capitol Hill or Beacon Hill. At Oxfam America, I actually created a formal advocacy program that took community issues and placed them before policymakers. As the regional director of the Peace Corps during the Clinton administration, I sent thousands of American volunteers around the world, not only to serve in Africa, Asia, Latin America, and Europe, but also to build their own skills. We now live in a global economy, and the face of Massachusetts is changing as we speak. And cultural competency, as you just heard, is going to be a critical life skill for all of us in the months and years ahead. Now, my heart will always be in the community, and I will always be accessible. But rest assured, I am comfortable in the corridors of power. At USDA, I negotiated with governors and cabinet secretaries. I testified before legislators. I worked with mayors and municipal leaders throughout the region. I led a senior team that ran 15 federal programs. I am the only candidate in this race that has administered a $12 billion annual budget. But I've also served on my town finance committee, and I've also worked in state government. So I understand that critical relationship between the cities and towns in Massachusetts and the state and federal government. And my role will be to be the advocate for the cities and towns to the legislature, to the state, to the federal government. And that's the role I see as lieutenant governor. I also see a few issues where I think the lieutenant governor can make a difference in molding the future of Massachusetts. In education, we've got to return to a more classical approach to educating the whole child. We incorporate arts and culture and sports and financial literacy and civics. As a former union member, I'd like to see more fairness in the economy. I certainly support the increase in the minimum wage. If we're serious about building the middle class, we have to have a conversation about the living wage. But given our time constraints, let me just focus tonight on food, hunger, and nutrition. We have learned so much about how the food we eat impacts our health. And we could save billions of dollars in the long-term Massachusetts economy by focusing and promoting better nutrition and healthier lifestyles. At the same time, we could create thousands of jobs in the Massachusetts economy by, pro by providing